Hey guys, and welcome. And today we are going to be talking about this, printing your work and how paper choice could really affect your final print. So let's not mess about, let's go. Okay, so this morning I started to update my website with some new Im recent images um, that I've taken over the last couple of months. And as always, when I'm putting any images up for sale, I like to try the image out printed on a couple of different paper stocks. Now, as anybody who's seen my on location um, landscape photography vlogs will have seen from my intro, I have a printer. And the wonderful thing about that is that I get to try these things out. And I thought I'd share some of the differences of um, paper and how different papers can create different effects on your photograph. Okay, so the shots that I was printing out this morning, I put over four different paper stocks that I carry. Uh, a premium matte fine art, a barita, a luster, and a glossy paper. Now, each one of those papers has slightly different characteristics um, and slightly different hues and tones and reflective qualities. So I thought I'd share with you very briefly some of the instant differences you can see between those four different paper stock. So the first one up is the matte. Uh, the matte print pretty much matches the colors um, as I can see them on my screen. Um, my screen is calibrated. Uh, there's some really good tones in there. It's got good brightness to it. And again, that brightness level has come out pretty much the same as it does on screen. Now being matte paper, it of course doesn't have any reflective coating to it. So in terms of reflections, there aren't none. So if you are hanging this on the wall in direct sunlight, matte paper in terms of that reflective quality is definitely the way to go. Next up, the burrito paper. And on the burrito paper, burrito is actually, uh, it has a chemical compound added to the paper before the gloss sheen, which will give your image a, a different look than gloss or matte. Um, but however, it does come off a little bit like a, for want of a better word, a slightly glossy matte finish. Um, it has that kind of matte effect to it. It is slightly darker than both the matte print and the images I see on my screen. So if you print now on Burrita, you might just want to up that exposure and those brightnesses a little bit, maybe touch of the contrast as well. Uh, it is cooler than the matte paper as well and as it is on the screen now this image i've added a little bit of a split toning effect to it so it's a little bit warmer in some of the shadows um, but the burrito doesn't really carry that across it brings down the um the blue hue a little bit adds a little bit of a blue hue to it so it appears a little bit cooler um, there is a slightly dipped contrast so going back to what i was saying you might want to alter that contrast level a little bit and if we look at the reflective qualities of it it being a glossy paper um, it has got some reflections in there as we, we look at it so again it is certainly less reflective than the glossy which we'll get to but again thinking about where we are going to hang that print will depend on whether we or not we want to use this paper stuff next up the luster paper now in terms of glossy paper luster is actually probably one of my favorites it's without a doubt out of these four it's the brightest print and we'll take a look at the different color of the paper in a second but this is a very different color paper to um, the other three options it's got an almost silverish tone to it which does lead to a cooler tone but also adds a little bit of crispness and sharpness to it um, and the colors are slightly less vibrant than you would find them both on the mat actually and the full glossy paper but there is minimal reflection um, and there's good sharpness across the image. So if you were looking for a glossy, that kind of glossy option with those nice colors and nice tones, this could be the way to go. And even if you hang it in sunlight that may hit it, it won't be as reflective as the other two glossy options in this. And so that, let's move on to the glossy paper. Now the glossy paper is certainly warmer in the shadows. You can see that split toning coming through and it enhances the oranges and the reds more so than I can see on the computer screen um, and in the mat. The blues are a little bit muted. Um, let's take a look, close look at those skies going across there. And we can see in the skies that the, the blues change across the four papers in the skies, almost from an aqua to a deeper blue, and they become less vibrant and a little less saturated. There is very good contrast on the glossy paper, but the downside to glossy is 
that it is a reflective paper, as you can see here, it is highly reflective. And so for putting up on walls in direct sunlight, in rooms which don't really get direct sunlight could work quite well. But if you are looking at a room that has direct sunlight, you probably don't want to be putting on glossy to hang as a centerpiece on your wall because you're just going to get that sunlight bouncing off it. So the paper stocks themselves, the matte paper carries a slightly yellowish tinge to it. Glossy paper has an almost bluish, greenish tinge. The luster paper is almost like an arctic white and that probably lends into why it has that silverish tone to it. And then the, the burrito paper is certainly the darker of the four papers um, and that's why the image itself will be slightly darker. Now there are good labs out there that will send you out test booklets of different types of paper that you can take a look at that has an image printed on it and you can go through and actually see the differences as well. And that might be a better option if you don't want to go back and forth to a printer um, buying various different sized shots of your images. And you can quickly just flick through and have a look at how the different type of fake paper affects the stock image that they print on there to, to show you those effects. And that might will be a good option for you. Of course, if like me, you have invested in a printer, you can try this out at home and try it yourself. You just need to pay for some paper stocks and see what works best for the prints that you are putting out. So I do hope that you found that useful. It was really just to show you different types of paper and how it can affect your print as it is difficult really to envision without seeing it for yourself. So I thought I'd put that out there for um, you to be able to see that. I do hope that you've enjoyed it and got something from it. And if you have, please do click the icon here to subscribe to the channel. I genuinely will appreciate it. I'm going to keep more of these coming. And if you enjoy your comparison videos, definitely take a look at this one here, which is comparing a crop sensor and two four frames from Canon across a £2,000 price difference. But for now, Ciao.